What's up, fans? So today, I just got back from good old GameStop. Finally decided to go pick up Mad Moxie. Yes, which I'm not understanding right now is, it says number 10 on it. I already got Tiny Tina, which is number seven. So I gotta look up that line. Cause I know there's a few of these, but unless they're mixing something with Borderlands stuff. So here's statue of Mad Moxie. And here's something I wanna bring up. This and a toy, it's a collectible, it's a statue. Right there, it even says right there, all ages. I'm sorry, ages 14, 14, in all different languages, meaning it is for 14 and up. It's not a toy. So, so I'm pretty sure the other ones say the same thing. Collector, not a toy. All right, guys, let's take the sleeve off. That's it in color. Not bad. I like the purple stripe. That almost looked like a bat, but that's actually her lips. I was like, ooh, bat. But that's pretty cool. That's two different pictures. Not the same pictures, but different. Borderlands 3. By the way, get good game. You guys should play if you guys don't play. Here's the back part of it. That's a nice little portrait of her. They also have that, um, what do you call it? The purple jacket moxie. Which, by the way, skyrocketed, guys. So there was a, I guess, a really screw up on the whole, um, like, defects. Or when you get in the mail, it was breaking or something like that. I don't know. So they discontinued it. But I heard they're bringing it back. I don't know. Got to do some homework on that, too. So now we're going to get into it. All right. Think Geek exclusive. Nice. Nice. All right, guys, let's check it out. All right. She looks colorful already. Nothing else in the box. Let's that guy up real quick. Let's have a look. Nice little art theme right there. Ooh, different. Different. You notice every game they change her costume up a little bit, which I think is kind of cool. This is probably my least favorite. I think Borderlands 2 is my favorite though. But this, this one's still nice. She has that classy like Western look going on. Oh, I'm actually surprised there's no tape or anything on this. This has been sitting in GameStop probably for a few days now. So, all right. That's the figure. All right. Here's the base. You see where her pegs go, little square holes there. It looks like she's walking on like a plank of wood or something like that. A little green around it. But it's still hollow. It feels light, very light, just like Tiny Tina. Okay, cool. Now let's look at her. Let's get a close up real quick. That's the little She has like a pirate theme going on. Like I said, wood plank, that's what it makes me think of. Got her big moxie bullhorn back here and stuff. Of course, you know, they like showing her cleavage off or whatever. She does have her little heart there. So, she's definitely Borderlands material. She does not move at all. She's stationary. But look at that big gun. Too bad you couldn't pose like in her hand or something like that. So, I do like her boots. They actually match. If you know some of the Borderlands guys, they don't match at all. But the rest of her, I don't like her stockings, little fishnets on there. That's not a bad little figure. She looks kind of grumpy, like, with your face. Yeah, I like the other one better. But I like I do like how this, the stocking matches with over here. And you have the fishnet and the fishnet. So, they, see, they kind of threw it off a little bit. I like it. So, I like her little hat with the, the, the little, I guess, feather. Yeah, I guess it's a feather. I was about to say leaf, but she's cool. She has all kinds of stuff going on in Borderlands uh, 3. Actually, I just downloaded the whole, um, what do you call it? The handsome, handsome Jack's treasure or jackpot or something like that. So, all right. She looks good. I still like Borderlands 2 better, but she's awesome. I like my statues and I, she's gonna look good on my Borderlands shelf. I need to get one of those little rotating things so I don't have to do it by hand. 
It looks more professional like, right? Well, that's her. That's her box. So you guys don't know who she is though. She is in the Borderlands game. She's the bartender. The Moxie M-O Triple X-I bar. So she's always there. Uh, you could donate money to her. She'll sometimes give you a weapon and stuff like that too. She has little side missions and stuff too. And she always has good music playing in there. It's like reminds me of like an old like clubhouse retro thing or whatever going on in a career or something like that. But she's a key character and I like the fact they still kept her around. I don't like how they're killing off certain people. But like whatever happened to Axton and some other people, that just disappeared. But at least they kept certain ones around too. Even they're changing her appearances. That's cool. But she is good, good looking. I like it. I'm happy. I got it at my local GameStop. It was just sitting there on the shelf, no ordering or nothing, so. But I hope you guys enjoy this. So check out my Tiny Tina if you haven't seen it yet. But I want to see what else is on here because I don't understand the whole, this is number 10 and the other one's number seven. So they're obviously skipping something or making other stuff with whatever. So, all right guys, I hope you enjoyed. And until next time, kitties.